G'day guys, Crypto Trader Vader here. Wanted to do a quick video on Qcoin Exchange and why I love it, why I'm thinking about transferring some of my trading there, and in fact, probably uh, a lot of my trading there. It's um, it's a great exchange because it looks clean. I'm, I'm going to walk you guys through it now, uh, but one of the reasons why it's so popular is because of this uh, Qcoin shares that you can buy. So half of, first of all, the, the the transaction fees are really low at Qcoin compared to places like uh, Poloniex or Bittrex. But half of the fees that they actually take in are distributed to their shareholders. And you can actually buy shares in Qcoin on the exchange itself. It's a um, Ethereum issued token. Um, so you, you can, you know, you own the share and for every share that you have, you get allocated a, a small amount of the profits. I'll show you guys what I've earned just in the last two or three days um, by owning a handful of Qcoin shares. But first of all, let's do a bit of a walkthrough. So here's the, the main page when you first load up and you'll of course need to sign up and create an account. Uh, links in the description. If you want to support the channel, then click on my referral link. Once you're logged in though, you can go in the right hand corner and hover over this little dollar sign. You'll be presented with just a really quick snapshot of the top currencies that you're holding. But if you actually click onto that dollar, sign there you'll be taken to the view the full view of your wallet and as you can see here I've got about 268 Qcoin shares um, I bought them when it was a little bit cheaper so I've had some growth in the actual shares and for this video I've transferred across 0.1 Bitcoin because I want to buy a, a handful of coins and, and show you guys how it works but the rest of these amounts here you can see deep Rain chain. I've got 0.5. I've got 0.02 in Dragon. I've got one Dent coin. These are all dividends that have been paid as a result of me owning Qcoin shares, and this is only over the course of a couple of days. Now, underneath that, you can see that the value of the amount of coin that I'm getting is pretty minimal. It's like one cent, two cents, but there's a lot of coins that I'm getting little handfuls of, little pebbles, little. Um, specks of dust in that particular coin and what it means is that over time over weeks and months I'm going to develop quite a, a nice little developed um, sorry a diversified rather portfolio of all these different coins even though it's small amounts it's diversified so I'm automatically jumping on a lot of these different coins without actually having to do anything which I think is valuable in itself but the fact that it's passive income and that I'm not actually going and trading or spending my money doing it is even better these are fees collected from the Qcoin exchange from people that are actually trading and as a result of me owning the Qcoin shares so when you get in and you click on the dollar sign you take into this full view of your wallets and you can of course deposit or withdraw um, as you wish with any of the different coins one of the things you will notice is that the deposit um, for the deposit address for your Qcoin shares or any um, Ethereum token is exactly the same as the Ethereum token itself so let's just go back to the overview and if I click on to deposit for Ethereum it's the same token ends in 356 if I go to Qcoin shares, click deposit, ends in 356. Um, yeah, if there's if there's other um, if there's other Ethereum Ethereum tokens, ETH lend 356. So any Ethereum token um, you can send to the same address as your Ethereum one. So that's something to note. So obviously deposit and withdraw through there. Um, let's have a look at the markets though. By the way guys, if you ever get stuck, I'll just trans I'll just get rid of myself again here. If you ever get stuck on any aspect of this, in the bottom right hand corner you'll see there's a uh, there's a support button. You can actually click that and it's going to take you through to like a UChat service with the Qcoin representatives and you can ask them questions and get support on, on a variety of different things and they're very customer customer service focused exchange so you can always get help there you can see that the look of the exchange is generally pretty clean as well but when we head over to the markets this is where it really shines through I think 
So not only do you have Bitcoin markets, you've got Ethereum, NEO, US dollar tether, and of course, Qcoin shares. So you can trade directly in Qcoin shares with a bunch of different currencies. We're just gonna work with the Bitcoin markets today. I wanna pick up a couple of different um, coins that I've been eyeing off. If you didn't see my video on the top five coins of 2018, then uh, I'll chuck a link in the description and you can check that out. Uh, spoiler alert, one of them is um, Dragon Chain. So let's have a look at that. Um, I don't know what where I'll find it. There we go, there's Dragon Chain there. And click into that and we're going to be seeing for the first time what the interface looks like, uh, the trading interface of Qcoin. It looks very clean. I like that it's got a night mode as well, so it's not super bright light in my face, especially if I'm trading in the evenings or, or um, you know, when there's, when there's not, not, a, not a lot of uh, natural light. You want to have like a, a nighttime view. Um, the... Yeah, in the, in the center here, you've got essentially a, a a chart, and it's one of the better charts because it's actually operated by TradingView. If you're not familiar with what TradingView is, it's a, a separate website that hosts charts of, of all sorts of things from, um, from Forex to commodities to Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies. And uh, I've just moved it to the one-hour chart, but you can see there's a very user-friendly chart um, if you want to put... If you want to add any sort of indicators, you can as well. Um, personally, I'm still going to probably use TradingView directly for that because that's linked to my account and it's already defaulted to having a few of the indicators on a lot of the charts uh, in the ways that I want to trade. But if you prefer to do it directly through the exchange, you can look through here and kind of pick your bottoms and your tops and, and try to trade the market. With Dragoncoin, I think uh, personally... I haven't bought any yet. I, I did put it in my video of top five coins of 2018, um, but I haven't actually bought any yet and I'm looking to buy in. Uh, I think, I'm hoping that it dips down a little bit further, but I'm also concerned that it may not. Uh, so what I might do is I might just place a limit order at around the 20K Satoshi mark. And if that's not filled, then you know in the next couple of hours, I'll just buy at market. So we'll see what happens there. What I want to do is in the bottom right hand corner we've got our order book. So in this center on the left we've got our chart. On the bottom right hand corner we've got our order book. What we can do on this particular order book is we can um, just drag that up a little bit. We can see the amount of Bitcoin that we've got available to buy it because we're in a Bitcoin market. We can do the uh, click on the best price. You can click directly on that to automatically set the price that it is now. So that'll be a market price. But I want to try and get in a little bit cheaper. So I'm going to put it as 20,000 sats. And the maximum number of dragon that I can buy is 500. But I don't want to buy that many just yet. I want to buy maybe around 200 of them. So that's 0.04 Bitcoin. You can see that underneath it. And um, there's a small 1.1% fee as well. So I'll put that in the order book by clicking buy. comes up on the chart here saying my order has been placed. And if we scroll through the order book here, we'll be able to see that... Uh, oops. We can't go lower than that but my order's stuck in there and uh, hoping that it dips a little bit so that'll get filled. If not, I'll, um, I'll have to come back and buy it at market price. So on the uh, bottom left here, what we've got is a, a view of the market depth. So we can see there's a lot of sell orders up here at 21.77. It's one of the reasons why I, I put the order a little bit lower because there's a lot of pressure coming from the, the sell side, which will keep the price, um, you know, Hopefully, it'll keep the price relatively low until I got, got an opportunity to buy a little bit more. Over here, we've got, in this box, we've got basically the orders that are currently active. And then if you click on dealt orders, that's another word for, like, fulfilled orders. So orders that have been carried out already and that have been finished. But the active orders are the ones that haven't been. You can still cancel them if you want to. Or if they've got a 
cancel all button as well, which is pretty handy. And then of course on the, the top right hand corner you've got the order depth and, and the, the different trades that have taken place here. So let's go back now to, actually let's jump straight to the other coin that I wanted to buy which is Substratum. And we'll just do a quick search here, Sub, and click directly into that one. Zooming out again, we can see Substratum's been on a crazy bull run, just like a lot of altcoins at the moment. Uh, and I certainly don't think it's over anytime soon. So just zooming in a little bit here to get a good indication of the price. And this particular one, I think I'm going to be buying at market. And um, that uh, buy sell order book doesn't look quite right. Um, Oh, okay, I might have, yeah. I don't know what's going on with that one. But over here on the bottom right-hand corner for this particular one, I think I'm just going to buy it at market price. I'm not going to place an order to fill in later. I'll just buy, um, let's say, I don't know, 350 of them. About 0.04 Bitcoin, maybe just 300. That way I've got a little bit left to buy something else if I want to. So... I'll put it at the best price available, 300, and I'll click buy. Order's been placed. And if I click over to dealt orders, it shows me that it's already been completed. So I now own 300, 300 substratum. Well, I think minus a small fee, it'll be just under that, but we'll have a look at that now. So if, if I head back over now to Qcoin, I click on Qcoin, and then on the top right corner, my wallet, I'll be able to see that I own the 299 substratum. Um, the Dragon Chain order hasn't been fulfilled just yet, but I can click over to Active Orders and actually have a look at which orders haven't been fulfilled yet. And this is a little bit cleaner than in Poloniex. I'm kind of used to Poloniex because I've been trading on that platform for quite a while. Just bring me back now. I've been uh, trading on, on Poloniex for a little while, so I'm kind of used to it, but this one just generally looks a lot cleaner. I like the ability to be able to view the active orders um, yeah, with one click next to my overview of my stats as opposed to on Poloniex where you kind of have to uh, navigate through a couple of menus to do that. The um, That's pretty much a walkthrough of Qcoin. Um, yeah, if there's anything I missed, let me know. I'm happy to do a bit of a follow-up video if you want to. Just one other thing I want to mention actually that I forgot to mention earlier about Qcoin is that they're really great with adding new coins. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but there's a lot of different coins here that I don't think are listed on a lot of other exchanges. Red Pulse is one I'm checking out. Oyster Pearl is, is really new. And Qcoin is very quick to add these coins. Um, if they, you know, if they, if they like the look of them, they're not adding every single coin, but they're adding a large number of coins and they're very quick to offer the support for it which means that I think a lot of people are going to flock to this particular platform. And that's why it's good to buy those shares now while the volume's still low and while there's still a lot more money to be made in the future. So that's it. Um, enjoy and see you guys later.